Welcome to Film and Page. I'm Dominic. And in this video, I'm going to be looking at the hardcover graphic novel version of Frank Herbert's Dune. So this is book one in, in a three book series. Uh, so I don't know if the next one's going to be coming out next year. I heard something that wasn't going to come out till like 2023 or something like that, but I'm not sure I'd have to double check that. So this is the graphic novel. And as you can see, it's hardcover. It's got a really nice dust jacket. This dust jacket is really uh, beautiful. And it was written by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. So now I haven't read the graphic novel yet, but I did kind of quickly uh, go through it. And a lot of the dialogue, almost everything is exact to Frank Herbert's Dune. So they didn't change up anything really. And uh, so it's very, very faithful. So take a look at the uh, cover and it's 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 a really actually a really nice book and I'll take the dust jacket off. So that's what it looks like without the dust jacket. And there's the side spine right there. And actually not bad, pretty nice. There's the inside of the book. And then there is the back end there with the last page. So I'll just take a closer look at that dust cover because uh, it's actually some of the details um, might not get picked up. Like, as you can see, the top part of it right here is actually, it's like it's raised, slightly raised, the title. And uh, it's actually pretty nice and Bill Sienkiewicz, he did the cover painting for it, and it's pretty simple, but it uh, it works pretty well. And you can even see he included, if you look on the moon there, mouse shadow on the second moon. You look at the inside, and even like the uh, writing on the inside is a little bit raised as well on the inside of this dust jacket here. And then here are the credits, Frank Herbert, Brian Herbert, Kevin J. Anderson, you know, and the credits of what they wrote, wrote. And then Raul Allen and Patricia Martin, the artists who did the interior artwork, and Bill Sankovich, who did the cover. And if you don't know, maybe not everyone knows this, Bill Sankovich, he actually painted all the covers for the Dune Marvel Comics adaptation in the 80s when they adapted the 1984 film into a comic. And then same thing, that character there is a little bit raised. Yeah, it's a really nice book actually. They did a really good job on this. It really looks beautiful. So if you read Frank Herbert's Dune, well, you know the story. I know the story. I've read the book five times, so I eventually will get around to reading this because it would be kind of cool to read this in comic book form. Let's take a look at some of the interior artwork. Now, the interior artwork, it's solid. I mean, it's not bad. I, I know I was pretty critical of it when I saw the first few bits of sample art, but uh, it, it's, it's pretty good. It's not super flashy like a lot of artwork. It's kind of like more straightforward, almost more illustrated, not over the top, which I guess uh, works for uh, science fiction like Dune and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, and the, and the paper quality is pretty good. It's like thick, thick stock paper they used for this graphic novel. Um, so pretty good. It's, it's pretty impressive. And uh, it's... And it's actually visually keeping in line with the uh, prequel monthly comics that are coming out. So you got some uh, artwork here. Like this one is, is pretty good. This page here, this worm erupting from the sand. So I'll just take a closer look at that because this is really nice artwork here. They did, this is one page that's pretty good. With this giant sand worm erupting. For the color palette of this book, 
they actually went with like cooler colors, not brighter ones. Now I will admit some pages are better than others. There are some pages I do find are a little bit, the artwork is more bland. So the artwork is a little bit hit and miss for me when it comes to this comic. And they kind of lined up, lined this up visually with the movie as well, because you can see that the Baron in this comic is uh, bald like he is in the movie. That's going to be coming out next year. The only thing I don't really care for is... They didn't give Duke Leto a beard in this for some reason. I, I, kinda, I, I like Duke Leto having a beard. He's beardless in this comic. But yeah. Yeah, so the artwork is kind of hit and miss in some places. But overall, like... I think it's pretty solid. So this is a book that if you haven't picked this up yet, uh, it's still available on Amazon.com. Now I know there were some people that complained their copies got damaged. Uh, mine didn't. Mine came in excellent shape. And uh, this, I think, is like a must-have for a Dune collector. It's a beautiful book. Uh, the dust jacket is gorgeous. And... It's really high quality. It, the pages are, you know, heavy stock. It's not thin paper. And the artwork, I mean, it, it's a little bit hit and miss for me in some places. But overall, I think it, they've done a pretty good job on the artwork for this book. I think it's a solid book. And it's something I'm looking forward to reading next year. And I uh, can't wait to get in. i got a few other things I'm reading right now as far as comics go. But uh, this is going to be hot on my list. And it's something that they should do more of in comic books. I know they, they have done it in the past and uh, adapted uh, famous science fiction stories into graphic novels, but it's something I, I would like to see them do more of. I think it would be uh, more things like this. Like I would, it would be cool to see something like uh, Isaac Asimov's Foundation Trilogy done in this style, like a hardcover, uh, you know, graphic novel. Same thing with... Uh, the Hyperion series would be another cool one. I mean, there's so many out there that you could use since they're looking for stuff to adapt in comic books. Because usually right now, it's usually toys or cartoons that always get ad adapted. But it would be cool to see more things like this. Uh, but yeah, really gorgeous uh, book. So that's everything I got to say in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section. And I will see you at the next one. I'd like to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I appreciate you all in helping this channel grow. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded.